It should be standard for all homes to have security cameras installed. This way we can prevent or catch porch pirates from stealing our packages from our doorsteps. Today, we're looking at not-so-smart Karens who thought they were going to get a free item, but instead got what they truly deserve. Starting off with reason number one as to why a video doorbell is a necessity, these thieves were tearing open a package. When the homeowner noticed, he talked over the phone from the camera's app telling them to go away. Hey, 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 get away. Are you kidding me? It's at my front door. Rings up. I rip it open in my box. <gasps> Did he hear you? He ran. Oh, no way. No way. No way. The way the thieves cartoonishly made like a banana and split got me hysterical in my chair when I first saw this. Here we have a man well named Ken, for the sake of the theme, who attempted to steal a package by trying to act casual on the door camera. He claimed to know someone named Tommy, who may or may not be the homeowner, we don't know for sure. Unfortunately for Ken, his act wasn't lasting as long as he'd hoped. Hello? Hello? Yes, does Tommy live here? No, he doesn't. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. He doesn't. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ken then tries to take his leave and claim the package he thought was off camera, but the woman speaking to him through the camera caught him, and he gets upset over it. Slick package thief part two. Busted. I see you taking my package. I see you taking my package. I see you taking my package. You don't walk away, I'm calling the cops on you. Ma'am? I saw you throw my package. I have you on camera. I'm behind the door. I'm going to call the cops. Or I'm going to let my dogs outside on you. I don't have a package, ma'am. I just I'm watched you throw it over. Get off my porch yeah. now. Get off yeah. my porch now. Leave that package, or I'm calling the cops. This package? Off my here? porch. Yeah, the one that you just threw on the ground and walked back to pick up. Get off my no, porch I'm now. No, I'm going to the I don't I'll put it up here. Get point. off my porch, or I'm calling the cops. And if I see you pick up the package, I'm going to kick your ass. Put it back on my porch. Now. That's my thought. Leave. Tommy's friend is tripping. Leave or I'm calling the cops. You're on camera. Leave. How low does one have to be to try and steal for any reason? I'm sure whatever's in the box isn't worth the jail time. Only Karens and Kens would stoop so low, such as this next one. Coming up next, Karen decides to pull up to a random person's driveway to claim mail that isn't hers. The moment she tried to leave, the homeowner pulled up on time to make his mark on the thief's car.
Assuming that Karen tried to steal enveloped money, either it was used towards her window repair or the mission was a total bust, just like her car window. Up next, we have a Karen who made off quickly with this homeowner's package, caught on camera and by the neighbor to the left. Bella was warned many times she was caught stealing my package. Soon after, the Karen is brought back to the scene of the crime where the homeowner confronts her. She claims that it wasn't her who stole the package, yet confesses to what happened to the package when it was in her possession. Her lies could only go so far. Right here. I will stand right here, but I'm not bringing it because I didn't steal it. They have you on camera. I don't believe you. I'm not dumb. I don't believe you. Hi. Hey. Well, they did open it. Yeah, we did open it, but I promise you it wasn't. We were not trying to steal it. They have you on camera. If I were any of these homeowners in this compilation, I'd press charges to show these porch pirates why they should retire from that illegal hobby. Next up, a man confronts the Karen of the neighborhood who he suspects stole his dog. The dog in question had an injury or illness and was scheduled for an appointment to be checked on. The Karen we see on video has an argument over who's the rightful owner of the dog between the two, claiming the dog as her own, even though the man got the dog chipped. It's who, who, and who do you know? Who do you know since you took my dog from across the street? Who do you know? No, I didn't know if I took your dog. Oh, yeah, you did. No. That's my dog. No. I've got the pictures a month no. and a half before she showed up she at your house to prove it. In my name. Now. Yeah, now, because you took yes. her from my house after we were taking care of her. You're the smart one, by the way. Get your, get your woman. She didn't show up at your house. She lives here, and this is a neighborhood where all the dogs walk around. Get your, go, listen, you guys get to live with me in dog stealing garbage. That's what you get to live with. But Call whoever you. If you had her for a month and a half and you didn't do that surgery on her. Oh, it was so scheduled the day before we found where you were. You stupid uh, ass. No. You don't know I mean, you didn't have the money right now. No, we had taken her and she needed to gain weight. And that's what we were doing. She gained four pounds in the three weeks between the first time we took her up there and the time you took her up there. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I had the pictures. Like dummy, dummy. I'm not going to, the head, to hell for the sin of lying. No, I'm you're going to hell for the sin of stealing a dog. What is that? Take it. I'm not a thief either, motherfucker. Sure enough. Nope. The dog that I had for a month and a half before you took it so says I'm otherwise. It's chipped in your name. <laughs> chipped in <laughs> Or what? Yeah, Clark, you better handle it. You don't. I'm somebody that will. Shut up, babe. Tell them to bring everybody they got, too. Baby, you want to fix Put, put, chuck, yeah, babe. Me. But Tucker. Give a f who Tucker is. I'm just telling you. I don't care who Tucker is. Call Tucker and call Tucker's friends. He'll be leaking like a motherfucker's dead. That's all right. That's all right. Tell him 469, step in his yard. Step on in. I'll be right here all day. That's what's up. And when they step on my property, they're leaking for good. Race to room temperature, babe. Tell me in the comments who you think's in the wrong. The Karen who took the dog in or the original owner? I think the answer is very obvious. I'm just making sure we're all on the same page here. Here we have a longer clip, but no worries because we'll break it down step by step. The man who drives the blue car pulls up on the Ken in the white truck and trailer who tried to take off with containers that weren't his, claiming that they were his own or he was part of a community. The man recording knows very well that what Ken is saying is all false for he himself is a resident of the area and Ken is not. Yo. Where are you off there with these? Why? Because that container is Why? not yours. What do you mean? That, can that container's not yours. Okay. Yeah, and you guys are putting a roof over it. What's the, what's the problem? Because, Why you... because it's not your guys' container. Hold on. Why I know you own that container. Why are you talking with such a I just concern these? on your voice? Because I just moved these. Yeah, okay, but why? They're not yours. Yeah, well, that container's not your guys. Yeah, we paid for it. I oh, did you? Yeah. I know the person who owns it. Who? When did you guys buy that? About six months ago. No. Yeah. Load of Been here way longer than that. Six months ago. Well, I don't know, bro. So you don't, you guys don't even own that? We bought it, we can show you the transaction. When? Okay, show me the transaction because I know the person who owns that. Do you, know the, you, guys do you know the person who owns these pods? Well, they... um, this, is this is public um, property. It's public not. Property. Yes, this is. No, the, this the... is um, gov uh, what's it? government owned. 
Mate, you're, you're not right in the head. This is here is about council boundary, and this is not. This is well, private what's that, land. What's that land? It's, it's owned by it's owned what, by, owned by it's the Waiti station. What, owned by who? It's the Waiti station. It's owned by the Lou's. O owned by is this, oh, is it? It's owned by the Lou family. Yes. Sure. Yeah, well, you're just helping it's yourself to community stuff. The man confronts Ken about the containers, in which Ken is trying his hardest to justify his actions for attempting to steal them. Community stuff. What's your name? Why? Because you're you're stealing. What's your name? Jeff Reed. Jeff Reed. Good yeah. on you, mate. What do you mean good on you? Well, you, want you back. I would like you to so put gonna, them back, I'm gonna, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, this, this I would like you to put here, them back, this please. Is here. Huh? This isn't. This isn't. Look on the map, mate. This is here, it's, um, uh, property of, Dude, of, it, who, of who the we... It doesn't mean you can help yourself to community assets. Who is this guy? What's your name, bro? Who is this guy? It's clear that Ken isn't right in the head. Probably intoxicated based on his actions and verbal abilities, the man asks Ken to put the containers back where they belong, in which Ken only did half the work and just took them off the trailer. Curious to know who Ken is, the man then did some investigating to find Ken's true identity. Just having a look at your name. Just having a look at your name. What? Just having a look at your name. Oh, you I had a look at your hey, name. The You've special? stolen our f***ing pods, bro. Hey, I'm gonna down, You've stolen your pods. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Williams? Truck, yeah. Why are you stealing off the community, bro? Let's just take it down. I haven't taken truck? anything from you, bro. But you're you taking stuff. Sure, go on. Who are you, bro? I've told you. It is. We've bought it. It's owned by a community group. Me that these containers Who's that? Is they, are they lying to me? Who is that? Huh? Who is that? Maybe you mind. I don't know. So you don't even know. You don't even know. No, I know that. Tell me whose container you think it is. Because no, we have bought it. Been here long, lot longer than six months. Well, whatever. Oh, six, eight bro. months. Something like that. Oh, oh, six, eight, oh, something like that. You wouldn't know, bro. You don't know no, whose container it is. You don't know whose container it is. Can you take these back in there, please? Ken's now in a mode of hostility to the point where he doesn't care if he's being recorded. He decided to try and smack the phone out of the cameraman's hands, went through his car as payback for going through his truck, all while being called a thief repeatedly in hopes that the idea gets through Ken's hard head. Watch as Ken tries to take his lead, but not peacefully. You're stealing, bro. You're a thief. Am I? Yes, you're a thief, bro. Oh, what else have you taken from here? What else have I taken? Nothing. Yeah, what else have you taken? Nothing. But I you don't have to call me that. I will be taking all your You don't have to call me that. Now you want to punch me? Yeah, yeah, go on. No, you know, I'm my time you You're violent and you're a thief. You're a thief. You're a thief, bro. You're a thief. Can you put them back? Can you put them back? Can you put them back? Yeah, you put them so back. you have. Right, You've taken right, them. You've taken them. What about the other stuff? What about the sleepers? What sleepers? Yeah, exactly. Huh? Why are you so aggressive? Why are you so aggressive? What sleepers? Bro, you've been live streaming. You wouldn't know how to back it. Oh, hey. Yeah, go on. I don't know how to back it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I'm so scared. Oh. Yeah, exactly. What are you doing? Just so angry.
To this day, there are no updates on the whereabouts or the identity of this Auckland, New Zealand man who attempted to steal from the Okura Bush Reserve. Hopefully, residents of the area can find him. A casual day in Brooklyn, New York. This porch pirate nearly made off with this homeowner's package when he was then confronted via the doorbell cam. He tries to make light of the situation by playing around and saying that the homeowner's lucky he didn't take it. Can I help you? Hello? No. I have a package here, though. Can I help you? Who you have a you? package here, baby. Can you leave it there? Yeah, come get it. Yeah. Thank you. Coming down. Rodney, yeah. go get the package. Yeah, take it. Oh. Rodney. Yeah, bring the silo, too. I'm about to try to... Rodney, yeah, he's trying to take the package, Rodney. I think he's still standing there. I just know karma's waiting for this man's luck to run out. He'll not be lucky when he gets taken into custody. It had seemed that this Karen, caught on camera, didn't want packages to clutter the apartment entrance, so she decides to tamper with mail and toss it outside onto the sidewalk. Someone was throwing my packages onto the sidewalk, and I caught this Karen in 10 minutes of recording. Will this Karen ever think to herself that if that were her package, would she feel the same way? Who am I kidding? This is Karen we're talking about. Last but not least, Karen gets caught red-handed when she tries to make off with not one, but two of a restaurant's bottles. She even tries to justify why she would steal company property, one reason being she thought the water was too expensive. Ma'am, please give it back. We just paid a sh money for these empty bottles. You did not. Please give them back. Yeah, we did. How would I have them? <laughs> That's crazy. Why are you doing How this? How would I have them? Mim, nobody because sells I those. The employee of the establishment she stole from tells her they don't sell the bottles, in which Karen denies the facts in hopes that it'll work out to her own benefit. She ends up returning one of the bottles, but the employee knows she has more than one. You guys are ridiculous. We're ridiculous? Okay, okay give yeah. me the other bottle. Bye. Give me the Bye. other bottle. Hey, close the door. Give me the other close bottle. The door. I'm not letting Would you leave you with our I Mim, really? you're acting crazy. Really? Why are you doing no, this? You're she then drives off upset that she was caught and left empty-handed. Surely she could have found a similar bottle online without nearly getting herself charged for robbery? Just goes to show that Karens shouldn't try to become thieves. Otherwise, karma will catch up and give the Karens what they deserve.